Hi guys, welcome back to Chubby Play. So today on our PTCGO gameplay, we are going to bring to you a Flygon GX deck. So of course this card also comes out in Cosmic Eclipse and you know what? It's actually quite good. So what is a Flygon GX, right? It's a stage 2 from Trapinch. It has the ability Dusty Defense as long as the Pokemon is your active. All, your po all of your Pokemon takes 30 less damage from your opponent's attack. So this is not very important of Flygon itself, I believe, but it is actually very important to protect your bench. So if you have Flygon GX as your active Pokemon, your bench is more or less protected. And the attack itself needs 3 fighting energy. It's a bit hard to get, but we'll go through that later. It Desert Hurricane 120 plus. If there's any stadium card in play, this attack does 120 more damage. Then this card that stadium cards. So if you have stadium card, this attack does 240 damage. This is big. The reason why is both of the tag team GXs out there right, either have 240 HP or 270 HP. Okay, we are not going to take a look at 300 HP things like the trio birds or uh Waylord Magic Card. I'm pretty sure it's 300 HP, but we're thinking of, of things that people actually use. Okay, we are not going to talk about Picarom as well because it hits weakness. But Urshizat and uh, Mewtwo Mew has 270 HP if I'm not wrong. And then you will be thinking, 240 damage, isn't it missing the 30 damage? But in a fighting type deck, it's actually quite easy to achieve. So what we are going to do is we are going to have our Flygon GX paired with DNC. Of course DNC, you know, fighting Pokemon attack do 20 more damage because in this case our flygon is a fighting type because uh it's from a ground type in the pokemon game and yeah so you will do 260 and then you are missing 10 more damage what you are going to do is use martial arts dojo okay if you have uh more prize cards than your opponents then you actually do 40 more damage but even if you don't have more price card than your opponents, you actually do 10 more damage. So it's enough to one hit those tag team GXs. So this card will be very very good against those Pokemon. So now the problem is we are going to take a look at the 3 fighting energy that is needed here. So the 3 fighting energy, how to get it? It's a bit hard but uh, one way is using character belt. So when you have more price cards remaining, the attack of Pokemon attached, this Pokemon attached to it costs one fighting energy less. So you attach this to the Flygon and you'll need two energy. The other way, of course, you're using the new tag team supporter that comes out, red and blue. So search for that for Pokemon GX to evolve and evolve it and you can discard two cards to attach two basic energy. So in a way, it's actually quite similar to Welder. You can attach 2 energy and attach 1 energy from your hand so you get 3 energy in the one turn that you are doing it. So this is how you're going to get it. But the problem is because when you search a Pokemon GX that evolves right, means we cannot use rare candy and we need to evolve it from a Vibrava. That's why we need to find a way to you know, stall time from the opponent. In this case, we are actually going to depend on our support Pokemon and of course because we need to play a lot of stadium cards, we are going to play Slumbering Forest. So, we are going to play the Marib and Slumbering Forest combo along with the Lily's Pokido. So, what you have to do before you are able to set up your, you know, Trapinch, Rebirth, and Flygon, you are going to use Marib. Uh, use the Fluffy Pillar abilities to make opponents sleep. Put down the Slumbering Forest and retreat using the uh, Escape Bot. Uh, we use escape bot instead of U-turn bot here because we also play Jirachi just in case and Richie to Lily's Pokédoll which does not give up any prize cards. So that's more or less what we are going to do before we are able to set up our Flygon. When the Flygon is set up, we can just start attacking. Okay, then we are moving on to our GX attack. The GX attack is actually fine, but it's very important to know the effect. So Sonic Age GX 220 damage. This attack damage isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. So why is it strong? The most important thing is you pass through Keldeo GX instantly. 
So you actually going to one hit Keldeo GX using this GX attack. And I think there's also a uh, Lunala Ultra Necrozma. That Necrozma with Lunala that can prevent any damage done to this Pokemon. Because what you're going to look at is the effect on your opponent's active Pokemon. Basically, any effect is disregarded. I'm pretty sure there are a lot of effects that say that this Pokemon is not affected by damage from your opponent's Pokemon the following turn if you use this attack. And you can still attack using Sonic Edge GX. So yeah, that is one extra thing from Flygon GX, but yeah, definitely good. Okay, we'll see later how it works in the how it works in the game, but let's go through a bit more about what other cards we have here. We only have two rare candies here because we actually want to depend on red and blue more. We run Pokemon Fan Club instead of Oak setup because. In case that we actually need to get a Flygon and Fibrafa, we can just combo it with Pokemon Communication. And the other stadium that we play here will be Viridian Forest. It's just to help us get the energy because we are not going to run a lot of energy. Alright, then our uh, supporter card, we have Bills Analysis, Cynthia, and Fang Cloud, and Red and Blue as mentioned. Escape Bot for Jirachi and Marit is quite important. And Karata Belt in case that... We need to attack it using Flygon GX early on when we are behind in price cut. So yeah, that's more or less about this deck. Let's move on to the game and see how this deck works. Okay, again, I tried a few times before recording it. It is worked surprisingly well. And of course against those tag team GXs, it's just Good. It's just good because most probably you're going to one hit them. Alright, let's see what is our opponent. Okay, we start with a Jirachi, that's fine. Okay, it's a grass type with lance. Okay, one thing that I didn't mention just now, Flygon GX has weakness to grass type, but there are rarely any grass types out there nowadays, so I didn't pay too much attention to it. If we are go if we are going against Rowlet Executor, it might be a problem though. Okay, that's good. Actually draw quite important cards. Oh yes, this is a bit of a problem. At least I think this alone executor cannot one hit us. So we'll see. It's because of the abilities though. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the alone executor can do uh, 120 damage. With weakness, it becomes 240 damage. But decreasing from the Ligon's ability, then it should be able to do only. 210 damage, if I'm not wrong. I'm not really sure whether it's resistance first, at, uh, weakness counted first before the calculation, or the, the ability first. But it's still 2 hit, so it's still actually very scary. I really didn't expect to go against this deck! <laughs> the first match that we recorded. Alright, uh, actually I want Poke Kong. I want to Poke J and see if we can get a fan club. Yes, this is more important than the first turn I feel. Okay, a fan club for this. I think the SC doesn't really matter in this case, so I'd rather go and prepare more trap range. and see what we can get. Rare candy, bills, red and blue. Red and blue not this turn though. Rare candy maybe. So I uh, will take the rare candy first. Ok, 
Okay, there's no need to put down anything else, so I will leave it be. And I have a feeling our Jirachi will be knocked out. Which will be a bit of a problem. Hmm. Actually, if our Jirachi is knocked out, means that we can send out a Flygon immediately, but we still need a character belt. So, not sure how high is the chances for us to actually get a character belt. Oh! It's a Dragon type Elden Executor. That's actually good! Then he won't be able to hit us on. Really? <laughs> I think he has too many custom catcher in hand, but it's fine. Okay, at least is he's not going to hit us on weakness. That's one good thing. Okay, that's fine. Let's send Jirachi out. If he doesn't hit us on weakness, he'll need to three hit us. So, yeah. Um, I'm thinking whether I should Pokemon for the Pibaraka instead of Rare Candy. I think I'll evolve it normally. And we really need to try to get a fusion, uh, slumbering for resistance. Okay, we hit something else instead, but that's fine. We can still sell a wish for that. Nope, no slumbering for us. Switch fusion, we'll have it, so. I'm just going to take. Hmm, fusion maybe? A switch. Okay, now I'm just going to hope for him to hit Tails. And yep, yeah, he's sleeping. Okay, I think the problem for opponents is that he shouldn't be able to be uh, to switch very easily. So I hope I actually buy some time by doing this. Oh nope, he has switch. Of course he has everything he needs. Yeah, the power plant here is quite important to remove, so I had to remove it. Okay, we actually got a slumbering forest now. Yeah, I should just put on the slumbering forest. I really need the character belt. Otherwise, maybe Pokidol or another Mari. Okay, we actually got the character belt so we can start attacking. Pokecom, Rare Candy... We don't really have any Pokemons now, that's a problem. We don't need a Rare Candy. We might need a Rare Candy if we draw a Flygon next turn. Not exactly need the Dojo, so I'm going to get the this first. Okay, at least it's a Dragon type. Ooh, if it's a grasser, I'll be quite really scared of it. But if it's a dragon type, he has to three hit us actually. So I think our flygon is quite in a good position here. And the character belt is still working. Can we drop one energy already? I need to count how many energies I have because. We only run uh, 8 energy in this deck and it's all very very important energy. So I guess I'll run 8 energy because I don't really expect us to attack so much. Okay, the good thing is if 
If he does that, means that I don't need to put down my own stadium card. So... Yeah, I'm just... Maybe I just poke you to see what else we can get. Fan club is good here because... We can poke commit. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, fan club for this one. We don't really need that. So. We don't really need the NC in this game. Can put one one of this and Pokecom the other one for another Flygon. Okay, so since we removed the stadium card, we don't need to worry so much about power plant. I mean, I'm not sure how many power plant he actually runs. We'll see. He dropped two of it already. I don't think any deck should play so much power plant, so maybe we are quite safe. We are in a very good position now, definitely. Except for the Karate Belt that's not working anymore. Okay, I don't know why the opponent is taking his time, I think. Yeah, I know he's in a very bad position, but he still needs to continue his game. But honestly, if he managed to get another power plant and kill our Flygon this turn, then we would need to set up our Mari and Slumbering Forest. Which is not ideal. Yep, so this time I'll put down the Virgin Forest. Put this down. They can't do anything to the Jirachi, is it? Okay, there are no more custom catcher. So I think I'm just going to put down the Jirachi. And go for Cynthia. Okay, that's quite good. I'm thinking if I should drop something for an energy. At the same time, I check how many energies I have left. But one Pokigia. Actually, no, regardless, I don't have any trap pinch. I'll do that. Okay, I have, I have three energy left, so actually, if this Flygon dies. buy some time. But at least I know he doesn't have custom catcher also. Okay lads. What is this do? Okay. Well, sadly, he's not set up very well, so... Okay, so he kills our Flygon GX and... I wonder if I can get a reset stamp. Do I even have one? Okay, I set up the little spooky doll. Cause yeah, let him hit the spooky doll. Okay, let's see if I can get a reset stamp, baby. Switch slumbering forest, escape bot, why not? Spooky calm, maybe I get another trap pinch. So maybe we switch instead then. Oh wait, how come I don't have another trap pinch? Hmm, I guess I didn't expect that. So two of our trap pinch are stuck in the price card. <sighs> okay, I think then we got this. Let's just get. I'm just 
going to run away to Lily's spooky doll here. Because, yeah, then that Slatios will be quite a problem. But honestly, I don't know how many he can set up in time. It's 50 damage, so he needs to at least set up. Because we still need 3 price cards left, so this is, yeah, this is really a problem. We'll see. Okay, that box grid. Yeah, so I really, really need to start attacking next turn. Oh, ah, that shrine might. Yeah, that shrine is a problem. Hmm. Okay, but we'll remove it this turn, so I guess... Yeah, there's no need for me to do anything now... Okay, we don't even get the trap page. But honestly, we don't really have energy left. All of energy are taken up already. Can he do it? If he has another shrine, he can actually do it, I believe. Oh, he regets. Yeah, then the next turn he can attack with this Latios. I really need to try to get a uh, reset slash if I even have one. So I have to switch to this, I can retreat. Okay, I don't have, but I do need this, so. There's no way for him to kill my Flygon this turn. Is there? Okay, no shrine doesn't kill me. Because he does 90 damage. <laughs> this becomes a very intense match. I was really scared of the Latios, if we manage to set up fast enough, then he'll be able to do a lot of damage. Does he not have energy? Oh, he actually switched to Latios. Yeah, still not enough damage. Yep, so, yeah, he conceded last minute. That's a well played. <laughs> I mean, the deck is still good against non-GX simply because the ability makes it very hard for opponents non-GX to like two hit of like on GX. Okay, let's see if we can have another match now. Maybe it'd be good if we can have a match against tag team GXs. Uh, not this thing. I'm pretty sure it's a Malaman and Crossman or something. Alright, why do we always lose a coin flip? Oh, this... Ooh, what hand is this? Okay, 
Okay, at least he also start with Giratina, so not the most ideal thing he can start with. Okay, Giratina also 3 hit Flygon GX, so that's one good thing. Okay, now the problem is... I don't know what we are supposed to do. Hmm. Okay, we'll see. We'll see what we draw and maybe we can do something about it. If we draw a switch in the Jirachi, that would be amazing. Like him. Oof. I'm hoping that I can have that kind of luck as well. He even has the escape pod ready. the opponent's deck plays Farfetch. I'm pretty sure Audino is a much better choice compared to Farfetch, but is he just there for the tool buster or something? I can't even see the Farfetch. Okay. Is there a way for us to save this trappage? Let's take this. So if Bill can hit a Pokecom and a Switch, we are good. Hmm, do I believe in it? I shall believe in it. It's a Pokeja, it's a Switch, it's here but it's not a Pokecom. Alright then, I'll just get, I just have to switch to the Pokedoll then. Then maybe prepare a candy. But I do want the character belt as well, because we don't have any energy this turn. Hmm. It's okay. Okay, send out more Pookie dolls and go for switch. This is very sad, but. Alright. So, after this. Most probably you're just going to fan club for. But I really need the energy. I really need to start getting the energy. So most probably Cynthia first. Really depends on what the opponent do. So if he's going for the aggressive, maybe he can get the Malama and energy ready. He doesn't have any energy here though. Then. We'll see. But I really, really need to try to get a chop pinch ready. Okay, so you get a Malama, but he has no energy yet. Is his hand actually stuck? Okay, Cynthia. Okay, you can drop an energy. Oh, okay, I think he just have no energy in hand. But anyway, there's no point of hitting the Poké Dog. So maybe he also doesn't want to hit the Poké Dog. Okay. I don't think I'll try Necrozma deck plays like aggressive custom catcher or something. So okay. Yeah. I don't know if we actually managed to buy one turn or what, but that's good. Let's evolve this first. So we still need to charge energy, so I'm going for Cynthia. I don't want to use Radiant Forest because it helps him. 
I'll save the last Poké Dog. Ooh, really? Uh, but I just want to. I really want to charge energy. I need to start doing that this turn. I think I have to put the Jirachi. The Jirachi will be a sacrifice. And I'm going to Pokecom this for a uh, Trap Peach. Really? It's so hard to get energy, I don't know why, but... But yeah, of course, I'm just going to retreat to the Pokédoll and pretend nothing happened. Done. It'll be a bit of a problem actually if you Great Catcher the Fly on because... There's not much I can do to save it, I really need to get the switch. Okay, that farfetch. I am really curious. Discard all Pokemon 2 cards from your opponent's active. Yeah, maybe it's just there for the tool buster, but I still <laughs> don't get the why. Okay, the shrine needs to go. Okay, we really need to get something next turn. At least an energy. I don't know how much energy I. Okay, that shadow box. Yeah, never mind. The shrine needs to go, but the shadow box will enable him to two hit our Flygon GX. So, this is hard. that this we didn't manage to set up fast enough we keep missing the energy which is one of the most important thing for us to do and maybe we need to get rid of this one Okay, we'll see. I'm actually curious how bad the opponent hand is since that he's not doing very well. And the Pokédoll is also actually bad for him because he has to put damage counter somewhere. Okay, that's our first energy at last. Okay, let's go for Pokiju first. I can't believe this really. Is it that bad? But at least we got a Cynthia. We have the Cynthia at this turn. I hope we get another Poki doll. Hmm, nope, but I can. Yeah, I think I'm just going to Poké Doll for uh, uh, I mean Poké Com. I don't think I need this now. Poké Com for Mari. Poké 
done a slumbering chorus. Then I guess I don't really want to put down the trap pinch yet in case that I actually get a Pokecom. So done. Well, the thing is we are still quite on a stalemate. No one hits any price cards yet. Okay. So here. Cynthia escape board. Okay, in that case, I'm going to put down the trapeze and go for Cynthia. And hope that the Giratina doesn't wake up. Oof. Okay, I don't think I need to put down the Pookie doll. And hope he doesn't wake up then. Oh, oh wait, that's me! <laughs> I feel bad to him now. Okay, another shrine, but I'm going to drop the shrine. So I'm going to start attacking with Flygon. And I'm going to try to build for a Pokecom here. Yep, we got the Pokecom and let's see. Dojo? Yeah, maybe we get a dojo first. So we can red and blue one of these drop pinch next turn. Okay, let's see. We don't drop any energy yet, so that's good. Let's tell wish if we can get Radiant Forest is good. So Oops. Oh, it's actually resistance, but the damage is more than enough. Oh, yes, we got our energy, so we don't actually need the Radiant Forest. Okay, Spell Tech. Very annoying, but I have no way to remove it anyway. My trap pinch at the back is in a bit of trouble. Or maybe he's going to try to attack the Mario. Oh, no. The trap pinch it is. No? Okay, so he's going for the Mari. Okay, like, that makes sense. Hmm, yeah, it's just very hard because they two hit us regardless. So I'm pretty sure he's going to be able to do it consistently already while yeah while we can't do this thing consistently now and I need to evolve the Jirachi sooner uh, the Jirachi I mean the Trumpy soon before yeah before he kill our Trumpy Okay, that's interesting. He actually go for that Giratina. Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure I want to 
throw the Pokey doll. I think I can throw the Great Catcher. Can I? Yeah, but regardless, it's two, I guess. Okay, we only have two energy left. So we need to get our Brock Squid after this. Hmm, should I just GX him? So I don't need to waste. No, actually I can. Yeah. Now I'm going to put the Frigid Forest. And he's going to kill my Mari. I guess the Mari becomes a liability. No? Hmm. That makes me think about the Ultra Nicole's man. Now I'm quite Now I'm quite regretting that I dropped the the Quick Catcher, but Okay, what to do now? Oh, okay, this Farfetch can actually kill Flygon. Alright! But I mean, regardless, he can consistently hit with Giratina. I think I should just put on Pookie Doll here and go for Cynthia. Hmm, he resists, but I think it doesn't matter, so I'm just going to go for Cynthia. I need to try to evolve this truck pinch before it's too late. You get a red candy first, I guess. Okay, and charge energy. Another red and blue but Oh I think it doesn't really matter. I really need to get the Vibrafa Pokecom. Have I used up all of my Pokecom? I should still have one more. But yeah, I think after he hits this Flygon GX, then he just needs to take out his Ultra Necrozma and he'll be able to win because of Jirachi and Marib at the back.
Is our Brock's Grid stuck there? Okay, the thing is, we can't let this Flygon die. Okay, we cannot let this Flygon die. So if this Flygon dies, then he will spell tag on the Marip, and he just needs to spell tag on the Jirachi after that. So that's exactly for prize cards, and that's something that I don't want to happen. Then I guess I should retreat normally to the Marip. Yeah. Okay, wait. What do I need to get? Okay, I'll retreat normally to the Okie doll actually. And just waste more cards. I need to evolve. But there's no Brock's Grid. Never mind. We are a bit screwed. Regardless. So. Alright, press done. If he has great catcher, he can just win it already. Okay, it's really just because our Brock's Grid is in price, but yeah, I guess I don't really expect this deck to work very well against non GX simply because it takes so long to set up. But against Tag Team GX, even though it takes long to set up, the moment you hit the opponents, then it will return you the like comparable amount of price cards for the time that you have spent for that. So for this one, it's just... Yeah. It's just that it took so long to set up and every time we attack, we can only get one prize card. So it's not exactly the best trade-off out there. Is he just really looking for his great catcher? Is Pokecom... Actually, it doesn't really matter. I think something for us here more important. Okay, I don't know why my voice is breaking. Okay, we have no more slumbering forest, so this is actually an issue. But I can just put out another Mary. So I guess is it really just hope for the best? Okay. Ok, 
Okay, I realized I wasted the energy on the Flygon, so... I mean, on this trapping, so there's actually no way for me to attack. Except using Flap. Am I going to flap him down? Maybe, but... Oh well. Click done. Okay, he's awake as well, so yeah. Okay, what I'm hoping now is for him to hit his own Giratina and then I can send out the Fibrafa with Matia ask Dojo to end him and that actually ends him, that will be very fun Or maybe send the other Giratina because why not Why does he do that? I'm really going to flap him. And I don't even need the dojo, I just need the dancing. Oh wait, it's resistance! Oh no! Okay, now I learned from my experience that Giratina has resistance against fighting type. I should just put down the dojo for. Yeah, he already made a misplay and made an even worse misplay. Okay, that was very sad, but. Yep. What? Really? <laughs> I don't know why he's thinking right now, but we don't lose, we don't get our broad screen, so that's more or less it. Okay. Yeah, should we just let him win? There's no way for me to attack. And there's no way for me to get our cards back. So, yeah. Anyway, I think I actually have a chance if I get a Brawl Spirit. Do I? Okay, never mind. I don't think so. But, yeah. Alright, let's see if we can go against Tag Team GX Source, maybe. Without okay, Psychic. Water and what? Hmm. I'm not sure what the opponent deck is. Is it the god deck? The trio gods deck? If that's the case, I think it's a good chance for us to see how good Flygon GX deck is against those big tech teams. Okay, we actually start first with quite a decent hand, I would say. Actually, it's a very good hand. I'll go for Fan Club first. Then, in this case, I'll Fan Club for. Hmm, maybe a DNC and. And a Jirachi. Okay, let's see what the opening deck is first. Oh, Koi Ko. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I'm going to fan club for okay, Giachi and DNC. Okay, let's check. Turn, we're just going to evolve it to be Brava and Cynthia. Hope that we can actually get uh, red and blue the following turn so we can start attacking with our Flygon GX. Okay, hmm, I think it might be a dark box with with Poipol Neganadel. Yep. Okay, so we got. Hmm. We 
you got another chop fish. I think. Yeah, I think I'm just going to put it down. Don't you don't need to use the cookie comb and go for Cynthia. Okay, we actually get an escape pod. So they're still asleep. And don't have the switch. Hmm. Uh, let's get bought to the Jirachi. Oh, we actually got switch. We actually got an escape pod as well. Okay, so I want to escape bot to. Okay, I should have gotten switch, but I don't think he can attack us next turn regardless. So let's just put this down here first, and yep, done. Hey, he still can't retreat. Unless he evolve, of course. I don't know how good or how bad his hand is, but I'm really, really trying to get uh, red and blue next turn that I will be able to start attacking. So, most probably. I'm just going to Stellar Wish first before going for Cynthia. Okay, so he doesn't have his Sneasel Weavile ready, so he won't be able to attack very soon. Okay, but yeah, he's going to evolve. And. Can he attack? No, he's actually going to retreat. Alright. Okay, yeah, we are really going to Stellar Wish first. Okay, never mind. Sadly, we don't get it. So we have to Cynthia this turn. Do I have Poké Doll? I have one Poké Doll already. Yeah, I don't actually need anything this turn. So I'm just going to... Put down the Poké Doll. He has Tag Switch, I believe, so... I'm still going to put here, because in hope that I can actually get red and blue. And let's go for Cynthia. Yep, so we got red and blue for next turn. Let's switch it to the Murray. Remain asleep, please? No. Ah, uh, if he has tech switch, then he'll be able to attack, but he can't. I don't think he has enough cards to custom catch up my Fibra for. If that's the case, that I will be able to one hit that tag team GS. Oh, we'll see. Is it time to show you the power of Flygon GX? I think he's really looking for the tech switch, is it? He still won't be able to evolve that, so that's one thing. But he has quite a lot of things already, so I really really need to start to do some to do something. He's weak to fighting. Oh. I wasn't even considering that just now, okay? We're just going to go for red and blue. And I'm going to throw the mark because we don't need it anymore and maybe one more key dog. And two energies and we can charge here. And we can just retreat. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Ooh, we actually got. So, with this, we'll be able to get our second 
Flygon GX Trady very very soon. So I guess now what I really want to get is just the Grape Catcher. Then we can snipe that Weavile or Umbreon Dark right of course. Hmm, now we really need to try, try hard to get that Grape Catcher. We'll see. I didn't use it, right? Yeah, I didn't use it. So, I think he put down the Umbreon Dark, right? It's a mistake. Because the moment I got Great Catcher, he is doomed. Wait, is he going to sacrifice his Dedene GX? Because Dedene is also weak against fighting, so I don't even need a... What is this? Stadium card to knock out his Dedene. Apparently so. Oh! Never mind. That's our winning card. Uh, wait. We need Stadium now, we'll just GX him. It's still weakness, right? Nah, I have to. For a moment, I thought not affected by anything, including weakness, so I have to check. So, yeah, that was our last match. That was a very good last match. So, I guess the last match just proves to you how good Saigon GX is. It's actually towards those. Tag Team GXs. Even if it's not weakness, right, we can still one hit it because of the DNC. So we do 260 with DNC and the Stadium, and we should still one hit those uh, Green Ninja and Zora and even Umbreon and Dark, right? So, yeah, I guess that's all about the video today. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys again next time. Bye bye.